following video contains images of Australians mangling the French language. Viewer discretion is advised. Waking up in Paris. This is the view from our hotel, the Mercure Gare du Nord. Hasn't been too bad. Decent room. Weird bathroom. Move inside. There's Stuart checking his phone. The remnants of our bed. And the somewhat compromised bathroom in which if you're sitting on the toilet, people can see your feet. Okay, we're at Paris, Gare du Nord, looking for the Aria. Line D, we only have to go two stops to get to Gare de Lyon to get our Wigo train to Narbonne. So here we go, hall four. Big line for tickets, that's unfortunate. Here we are on the Aria, having bought twice as many tickets as we needed because the machine was cantankerous. It was and, a little confusing. And, and not tourist friendly. We got it. They're going to make a lot of money at the Olympics, aren't they? Out of dumb tourists. <laughs> My God, imagine the queues at the uh, ticket yeah, machines. Yeah, so six ticket machines, two of which were out of order. Mm. Yes, not voting well. Pro, pro tip, get the tickets the night before. Get the tickets the night before. Anyway, hopefully we'll get to Gare Lyon within minutes. And we've got 40 or 50 minutes before our Wigo train to Namor. Oh, we are Gare Lyon, finding our way out of the Aria platform to the main hall platform. Ah, goodness me. Main train lines. I think that's what we want, the main train lines. There we go, hall. finally assigned to Hall 1. Uh, looking for Hall 1 to catch the Wego train, train 7885. Okay, so now there's a bit of a shit fight to get onto the platform. So we've stocked up for the journey with a ham roll and two, a ham roll and two panel raisin. Uh, a baguette jamon in mm -hmm. the towel, yeah. and also deux de panna raisin. raisin. Almost fluent. Mm. Okay, so this is the Wego train, which is a... They're old TGV trains. I think they're fitted with extra seats. Described as the Ryanair of train travel. It's very cheap though. See if we can get on and find a place to stow our bags will be the critical question. All right, carriage six, this is us. So, on our train to Nambon with fifteen minutes to spare. I'll take a shot of the seats before they all fill up. Mm. It's not that much different to the Eurostar no, seat-wise. Mm -hmm. The windows are cleaner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our train pulled out of Gare de Lyon right on time, and we were quickly racing across the French countryside towards Lyon. The other passengers were a mix but dominated by younger students enjoying the summer holidays. Between Paris and the town of Nîmes in Provence, the train only stopped at Lyon. It then stopped at a series of small towns on the Mediterranean coast. of France. 
France, heading towards Nîmes. You can see it's a bit drier. Occasional lavender crops. Bon is the second last stop for this route, with the train terminating at Perpignan, near the Spanish border. One piece in Narbon. Yeah. There we go. Okay, arrived in Narbon, got off the train and heading to Will's Hotel straight ahead from the railway station for one night. So we've started our journey through Narbonne to a visit at the cathedral which dates back to the 13th century. 1272 the first stone was laid and it took about 60 years I think. From, from the outside it looks almost a bit ruined or something mm. um, in, a, in a beautiful kind of romantic way. On the inside though it's uh, still very well maintained and super impressive. It's, it's huge. Very high. Just the ceilings. height of the vaults is amazing. And amazing stained glass. Off to a good start in Narbonne. <laughs> first ice cream of the trip. It is the first ice cream of the trip, isn't it? It is. It yeah. Is. Gee, it's Nabon. nice too. Cows. <laughs> so we started this morning. We were in Paris, in Paris. We managed to get our train on time, a little bit of a hoo-ha at the Gare du Nord, just getting the ticket. I ended up buying twice as many tickets as I needed, for eight euro instead of four. But we got to get Lyon and got on the train without too much trouble and then had a, I would say, a very pleasant trip down really right across France. Oh, that's great. Like five hour, five hour journey. And you can see the landscape kind of slightly changing too. Mm, Ever got so drier and quietly became more Mediterranean I thought. It did, it did. Had a walk around the town and now here we are at a pizzeria. Having had a good French meal last time we thought we'd have pizza tonight. Mainly because it's a bit cheaper. Yeah. yeah, and also for change. So this is a salad niçoise, and this is a Pompeii pizza, which is, must have a bit of heat to it, Stuart. Mm. And here we are in our glamorous accommodations in Narbonne. Now, for our five-week trip, this is the place of least cost. It's 110 euro a night, and it's already... It's the most affordable, and I have to say, it's also the largest. And I think the nicest. What about the largest? Well, it's certainly larger than London. But, uh, but you know, this is a nice little, classic little French hotel. It's lovely. With classic, tiny, tweeny weeny little bathroom. Sorry, the seat's up on the toilet. I won't take a shot of that. But there we go. There's the, there's the shower. I can report that the water pressure is exactly what you'd expect in a place like this it's a, a, a dribble of a dribble of water 
It's workable. But it's workable. Anyway. I think this, I think this is great. I have a very positive view of this. Yeah, no, I, I've enjoyed it. And Nabon is a lovely little town. There's a nice town square. There's a lovely cathedral. Uh, and there's just a nice central area where they've, you and know. Some nice, nice restaurants. And yeah. Ice cream and the, the river runs through it. Yeah, and we're going to see the museum tomorrow. Yes, the Roman, what is it, a horarium or something? Uh, the, the horarium, yeah. I think it's like grain stores underground. Ah, uh, underground Roman grain stores. You haven't lived until you've seen some of those. <laughs> mm. A little morning breakfast, petit déjeuner. Very nice in the little hotel here. Today we're heading out to look at the Roman horarium. <laughs> Mm. All right, Stuart. Under the cathedral is this Roman, I still don't know how to say it, Horium. <laughs> okay, the Horium Romain. So essentially a warehouse built in the first century BC, which they've excavated some, but not all. square here of Nambon, yes. what they have, they've dug down yeah. and they've uncovered an old Roman road, the oh. old Domitian Way, the Via Domitia. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. It's amazing. Um, because uh, this was the provincial capital of Narbonese Gaul. Right. Well, it's lasted longer than the roads in Melbourne do. <laughs> sure has. <laughs> mm. so, this is the Mediterranean Sea. Bézier and Nabon and our train. So they went through Nîmes, Bézier and Nabon. Well, that must go all the way to the Atlantic coast. So we're going to explore what's inside this hall. I'm hoping it's a food market. It has that sense about it, I must say. Oh yes, perfect. Olive shop. Look at that. So those are garlics. Garlics. Yeah, those are pickled garlics. Giant vat of garlic. That would amazing. All these olives. Blessed be the cheesemakers. Right. I've seen those, those uh, they're like, uh, they're made in the Middle East. Yeah, like the Zatars or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Well, we're close to the Mediterranean, so there should be pretty good seafood. Mm. So it's nothing like having a, a beer or a glass of wine at 11 in the morning while you're doing your fish and vegetable shopping. Why not? Why not? Yeah, great little lunch bar in the market. So that is the town market in Nabon, full of amazing food offerings. Okay, so here we are in Nabon now. Stuart's pointed out that it's been almost 90 minutes since we ate something. Almost 90 minutes since we ate something, so he has put in a little, put in a little order. And we have coffee, and behind there is a croque monsieur. Which is like, I think it's like a ham and cheese sandwich ham with extra ham and extra cheese on top. top yeah, and uh, the coffee order was just a decaffeinado americano with a little bit of milk and she put some hot milk in for us, which I thought was excellent. It's amazingly good value. Yeah. Mm. And it was, uh, it came to €7.60, which is one of the smallest bills we've had on the entire trip for anything. Yeah. <laughs> 
definitely. So we're at the Nabo Via. The Nabo Via Musee in Narbon. And it really is just this giant repository of Roman Roman artifacts. It's actually extraordinary. Someone said, we've got all this stuff. What on earth are we going to do with it? And they said, oh, well, let's build a giant museum on the outskirts of town next to the soccer stadium. Mm. And it's pretty impressive. It is. And then we come into the history of the Roman town of Nabo Martius through about eight different galleries. So this is the Musee at Nabon, and it's well worth the visit. In fact, it's more interesting than the Roman Horium in the middle of Nabon, which is interesting in itself, but is about a 20 to 30 minute visit. This is a good one hour to 90 minutes, I think, at the Musee. Lots of stories, magnificent pieces, beautifully displayed. Hmm. Really surprising. Really well done. Worth doing. From Narbonne, Stuart and I will pick up a rental car and drive to Carcassonne and then continue on our tour of Occitanie. <laughs>